an electrocardiograph. As the cardiac cells depolarize and repolarize, electrical currents spread throughout the body because the tissues surrounding the heart are able to conduct electrical currents which are generated by the heart. When these electrical currents are measured by an array of electrodes placed at a specific location of the body surface, the recorded tracing is called an electrocardiogram. When the impulse is conducted, the inside of the myocardial cells becomes positive and the outside becomes negative. If electrodes are placed over the chest wall and the electric impulse travels toward it, the recording of the electrode shows a positive or an upward deflection. When the impulse moves away from the electrode, it shows a negative deflection. How to obtain an electrocardiogram? By placing the electrodes in different standard parts of the chest wall, arms and legs, the electrical activity of the heart can be captured in various viewpoints. Typically, the electrodes are placed on the arms and legs and at six chest positions. The electrical change is then recorded by an electrocardiograph. The four limb leads are attached to the two arms and legs. The red is attached to the right arm, the yellow one on the left arm, the green on the left leg and black on the right leg. Using these leads, position 1, 2, 3 and AVR, AVL and AVF are derived. The six chest leads are attached as follows. V1 which is red is attached to the fourth intercostal space, right sternal border. The V2 is yellow and is attached to the fourth intercostal space, left sternal border. The V3 is green and attached midway between V2 and V4. V4 is brown and is attached to the fifth intercostal space, left mid clavicular line. V5 is black and is attached to the level with V4, left anterior axillary line and V6 is violet and attached with V4 left mid axillary line. Typically, the electrical activity during each contraction of the heart is recorded as a series of positive and negative waves. Each part of the wave represents impulse conduction along different parts of the heart. Electrocardiogram waves The repeating waves of the electrocardiogram represent the sequence of depolarization and repolarization of the atria and the ventricles. ECGs are generally recorded on a paper at a speed of 25 mm per second and with a vertical calibration of 1 mV per centimeter. An ECG consists of a set of waves, a P wave, QRS complex, and a T wave. P wave the P wave represents atrial depolarization as an impulse started by the sinoatrial node travels throughout the atria. And the period after P wave represents the time in which the atrial cells are depolarized and impulse is traveling with the atrioventricular node where conduction velocity is greatly reduced. The P wave signals that the atria are going to be in systo and that the atrial myocardium is about to contract. It is usually about 0 0.08 to 0 0.1 seconds. The QRS complex. The QRS complex represents ventricular depolarization. This QRS complex shows a greater voltage change than the P wave because the ventricles have more muscle mass than the atria and contract more strongly. The duration of the QRS complex is normally 0.06 to 0.10 seconds, indicating that ventricular depolarization occurs rapidly. If the QRS complex is prolonged, that is greater than 0.1 seconds, conduction is impaired within the ventricles. The T wave. The T wave represents repolarization of the ventricles. And it lasts longer than the depolarization. This T wave represents phase 3 of the action potential. The T wave signals that the ventricles are going to be in a diastole and that the ventricular myocardium is about to relax. Atrial diastole does not show up on an ECG as an independent event because the voltage changes are masked by the QRS complex. The intervals on the electrocardiogram. Because the recording device such as a recording paper moves at standard speed, 
The distance between the different waves indicates the duration taken for the impact to travel from one region to another. Also, the height of the waves indicates the size of the muscle tissue, such as hypertrophied muscle tends to produce a larger wave. PR interval The distance between the beginning of the P wave and the QRS complex is known as the PR interval. And this PR interval indicates the time taken for the impulse to travel from the atria to the ventricles. The time ranges from 0.12 to 0.2 seconds. If the PR interval is greater than 0.2 seconds, a conduction defect usually with the atrioventricular node is present, such as the first degree heart block. The QT interval. The QT interval represents the period of ventricular depolarization and repolarization. The ST segment. The ST segment is the isoelectric period when the entire ventricle is depolarized. And this ST segment corresponds to a plateau phase of the ventricular action potential. What are the uses of an electrocardiogram? Some of the abnormalities that can be detected and diagnosed by an ECG include irregularities in heart rate, size of the different chambers of the heart, location of the pacemaker, presence and location of the damaged or dead cardiac tissue, rate of conduction and conduction defects. Thank you and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Also join us on Telegram at Medicine Books.